so today i got a question and uh, this is a derivation i must say that i hope you can see what i am going to share with you so today i am going to share with a derivation that is about a governor and today i am going to share with you porter governor so today i am going to share with you the derivation of porter governor all right so i hope you are going to understand what i am going to share with you all right so let's go for it so basically you know what is porter governor this is one of the you know uh, centrifugal governor and uh, this is a governor which uh, is also known as dead weight governor all right so let's go for the derivation so for doing the derivation or for drive driving derivation for porter governor you need to know the diagram because diagram play most important role in case of uh, derivation right so basically what you have to do you have to draw like this as i am drawing here right now that's why you can uh, do the derivation correct way first of all understand what i am doing and i am going to explain each and every part what i am going to use in this case so this is basically a sleeve and uh, this mass of the sleeve is m these are two balls right and these mass of these balls are m all right so basically we are going to draw the section part of this diagram that's why it would be quite easier for you to understand all right so basically what is i mean let me just little bit adjust this all right it's okay all right so let's go for it so first of all we are going to draw like this then here then here then here so here we got a ball so because of this ball there would be a centrifugal force will act this is tension this is theta this is mg plus minus f by 2 this is mg this is theta this is beta this is c this is b all right so this is what we are taking as uh, a we can say this is height of the governor let's say h so what we are going to draw all right so okay so what we got we got mg here because of the ball mass here we got mg here right so this is c this is b i'm, I'm sorry i can i think you can understand all components what i'm using here and this from here to here we got radius r you need to do you need to understand this okay so basically what i am going to share i'm i'm trying to make you uh, understand that is uh, the diagram is most important diagram play most important role for any derivation i hope you are understanding this right so okay so what we got here what we got here we got the whole diagram okay so what i am making here make uh, i am trying to make you understand that is here only so what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this centrifugal force and this length to find out, to find out moment. All right. So for uh, basically, you know that moment. Okay. So M R omega square into A. So this is total moment is equal to the M G is acting here. So M G into C. M G into C plus this one is also a force here mg m because of this sleep mass g acceleration due to gravity plus minus f small f means frictional force because of this sleep if the sleep is go upward then we will put the here positive sign if sleep is will go downward then we will put here negative sign so that's why we have used both sign positive and negative both got it my dear so let's go for it okay so basically what i'm uh, mg multiply c so mg plus minus f by 2 into c plus b okay so what we we have done we have we just multiplying this distance and here we're multiplying this distance to find out the moment because force into distance is known as moment moment of force you can so you can say that also all right so what we got here we got the equation and uh, what we are going to do here we're going to just transfer this a i mean just transferring this a to this side that means here we got multiple and here what will happen we'll get in division so what we'll get here m r omega square m g c by a 
plus okay plus right okay so plus m g plus minus f by 2 c by a plus b by a as simple as that now we have to see or we have to look at the diagram what is the meaning of c by a here c by a is something what now as you can see in the diagram that c by a what is c by a basically c by a is tan theta all right so is equal to mg tan theta plus m g plus minus f by 2 c by a is again tan theta tan theta and b by a b by a means tan beta right so this is how we got the equation. all right so this is how we can find we can find out tan theta and tan beta right so let's go for the another solution i mean let's go for solution this question solute this question m r omega square right so basically what we got mg tan theta mg plus minus f by 2 tan theta and tan beta what we are going to do we are going to just take common tan theta from this two equation so what we got here mg here and now what we got tan theta mg plus mg plus minus f by 2 1 plus suppose that this is z okay I'm going to share with you what is it basically what we're going to take with what we are get we are taking z is equal to 10 beta by 10 theta getting me so basically what we got z is equal to 10 theta by 10 beta all right so this is 10 so what we can get again m r omega square is equal to we can write the value of 10 theta something else as if you'll see the diagram if you will see this upper part of this diagram, if you will give name A, B, C, then in this uh, right angle triangle, as you can see, tan theta is equal to R upon H, right? R by H, P by base. Base is H, that is height of the governor. So, here what, what we got, R upon H, Mg plus mg plus minus f by 2 1 plus z all right so r and r is cancel m omega square is equal to 1 upon h mg plus mg plus minus f by 2 1 plus z all right so basically what we got here we got the equation what we need to find out right so basically what we got here the la exact equation here now what i'm going to share with you that is important i'm going to take common here two so what we get two mg plus mg so here we got to put bracket plus minus f one plus z right now if i'll put here mg then i have to again put here mg we can do it m omega square right now m m would be cancel out now we know that omega what is omega basically it's angular velocity omega is known as omega, um, we can put the value of omega as 2 pi n by 60 because square is here so here we also put square g upon h 2 mg plus mg plus minus f by 2 mg and here we are missing something yeah. 1 plus z and we know that what is this g is acceleration due to gravity don't miss out this now after putting these values calculation what we get uh, n square is equal to 894.6 as we consider this as 895 by h 2 mg plus mg plus minus f 2 mg into 1 plus z we got this right 
Are you getting me this? I hope you are getting me. Now, what you have to do, that is most important, my dear. Yes. Now, we are going to put a case. There are many cases you can put, but uh, I'm going to complete this equation into a simplified, simplified format. That's why I'm going to put a single case. That is, z is equal to 1 and f is equal to 0. If I put this, what will happen? n square is equal to 895 by h 2mg plus mg into 2 by 2mg. What will happen? We can come take common of 2g from this uh, the above two values, right? So what we get here? What we get here? N square is equal to 895 upon h small m plus capital M by small m. This is how. This is how you can find out. I um, mean, we can derive the equation for Potter governor. This is not that much simple, but if you will watch this video uh, right away, then you can easily drive derivation of water governor. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.